<laughs> so, I haven't done one of these in a long time. And one reason I'm doing this right now is because I'm sick and I'm not going um, to pick up the kids like I do for my job. They got me sick. Anywho, so I'm like sitting on the couch and I'm not like bored or anything. I'm just like have this inability to just sit and do nothing and just watch TV. Why just not talk to a camera? So here I am. It's been a long time. I haven't made one since the summer. I'm sorry, I keep touching my face. I just Ooh, you know, like, you're sick and you, bleh, like, not fun. I, I can't hear anything. It's like I'm wearing, like, earmuffs. My mom laid out medicine for me this morning, and I forget to take it, and I still haven't taken it. I'm really weird. I'm not, like, weird about pills. I just, I just don't want to take them. The swallowing, sear of medicine, it's just, I just can't them. I feel like I'd much rather just sit in my own, like, ha, and then feel, like, downfall from coming off of medicine, which isn't, like, withdrawal or, like, anything like that. It's just, like... You know, and you like take Advil because your throat's sore, and then you can slowly feel it wearing away after a few hours. I could just I hate that. I just, if I'm gonna have a sore throat, I just want a sore throat. Like, this is it. I'm doomed. If this was like colonial time, things would be different, you know? So, college, right? Yeah. Um, <coughs> I'm sorry. I, that right there. That's exactly how college has been. It's just been one massive, nasty cough. No, 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 I'm kidding. It, mm. Let me rephrase that. College has been, I don't even know the word, just, it's just something I'm doing. Not like it's fun or entertaining or like I like it more than high school, this freedom and I, I do, which is fun. However, I'm still taking math and I'm still getting irritated that I'm taking classes I don't want to be taking, like math. I'm still writing papers even though I think I'm pretty good at writing papers and it's like, well, you, you're not good at grammar. Go get some help. I've never been good at grammar, and I've gotten help. I don't know what to tell you. This is just me. And then I get really irritated that I'm not, like, painting, or I'm not doing art, and I can't make these on a regular basis. Big waste of time. And so, like, that's kind of what I struggle with, is the fact that I am someone who doesn't like wasting time. I'm sick right now, and I'm home and supposed to be doing nothing. And I, this, I guess, is really nothing. I'm literally just talking to a camera, but I hear my dog barking. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, hang on. Let me go. Let me go let him in. Um, so, like, I'm struggling with finding the point in doing it. And I know that in order, I want to go to film school. And the tiny dog's on my bed. Here, I have three dogs now. We're fostering a little dog named Tinkerbell for my aunt and uncle and my cousin. And she's really cute. Tinkerbell, come here. Come here. Come here. Come stay high. Come here. Here we go. This is Alex. Can you see his nose? Hey, let me hold you. Look at her. Oh. Stop it. No, I don't want to fight. Uh, I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> um, so I want to go to film school, and that's the reason I'm continuing to pursue this and the fact that I would like a degree. Guys, I only have ten minutes left. Ten minutes from me blabbing is not a lot. Man, sorry, get out. It's constant. Well, leave if you're going to look at me like that. She just does this. She looks at you and she's like, Okay, yeah, college, huh, so film school, right, before I got so rudely interrupted by the small dog who's still on my bed, get off my bed, it gets, she gets dirty, her fur just like collects dirt, and then it gets on my bed, and I don't have a bedspread, and right now the blanket I have on my bed is white, and I'm a clean person, and I don't want your dirt on my white blanket, so college for the 500th time to pursue film school. I want to actually learn how to make a legit movie. I want to be a director. I want to tell people what to do and how to act. And that's a cool thing, actually, I've been doing. I've been directing a skit for my church, and that's been awesome. Uh, edited a script. Edit, edited? Yeah, okay. Um, a script this past Sunday with one of the actresses in it. And, um... And I, like, loved it. And I love, like, directing it. And I know it's, like, a play, and I'm not, like, a play director or anything. The fact that I'm, like, working with actors and we're, like, building a story together, is, it's really cool. I'm so stuffy and I'm so sorry, but I just couldn't sit there any longer. I don't have, like, any homework today and I'm too cold brain to do any homework. It's not true. I have homework. There are things I can do. However, I feel like I am enough ahead to do this and nobody's home and I was like, let me take advantage of this and let me sit down and edit a film because I haven't in forever and that's what I love to do. Um, so I also, uh, more in the life of me besides I think finally getting equipped to college is, um, in my job and now being sick. 
gosh, I could talk, that is, like, the highlight of my day, is picking up those kids and just hanging out with them for a few hours. They, like, they just say the funniest things, and, like, the way they see the world is just so refreshing. Like, those kids, they just, like, they're just so cool to be around, you know? They're not, and, and it's nice to not be around people who are my age, and now, granted, I am, like, taking care of them, and, you know, yelling at them, like, read your book, pick up your shoes kind of deal, but, like, that's not bad. Like, if I want to be a director, not to say that directing is yelling at kids, but, like, it's definitely, like, it's helping me learn how to communicate what needs to be done with other people without being obviously harsh like I'm not I don't feel like I'm a mean person when I do it at all but I'm you know I'm definitely like well like if you don't do it like that's on you like there's consequences or like this is how you, we can better the situation how we can address things if we're unhappy instead of like yelling I feel like that that reflects like my interpretation of the world I'm like hey like we shouldn't like don't be mean be nice you know like and there's other ways to tell people and express what needs to be done to them without without being harsh and that's a cool thing that I'm I'm learning but yeah so I've redone my room it took a really long process but it is finally now. I feel like I should do a room tour but I also feel like it's kind of weird putting my room on the internet I did get a really cool lamp though it's a cactus lamp and I kind of want to hug it is that weird yeah that's I'm gonna do it but here's the lamp no don't focus on my face focus on the lamp anywho this is the lamp and it's really great and it's from Target does anyone else like get sucked into the void when they go to Target like I like hang out with my friends at Target. Like, we go to Target, like, to fill the void of time. Like, it's literally, it's just, it's basically the park for older people. Yeah, I really did unplug this lamp so I could show you guys that. <laughs> just really like this lamp. I like lights. Like, like a lot. I have so many. Ghost lights, they're really cool. They're light up. I'm gonna grab those too. They're battery powered. They're ghosts. And I just really like ghosts. I think I would be ghost for Halloween. That's what the girl I babysit, she said. She was like, be ghost for Halloween. I was like, it's like you know me. She does know me. She's cool. Yeah. I got these for $3. That's how I treat myself. I just buy myself a string of lights. Hang them up. That's really my room. Like, my room tour is literally just like, it's just lights and art. That's it. It's a hodgepodge. Did you just hear my cat make that noise? So yeah, hopefully I'll be making more of these soon. Um... And hopefully by then I'll feel better. So enjoy. Yeah, I'll see you guys. See you guys around.